Hi, this is Ed. I hope you all are doing well today. Today I want to talk to you about a subject that is little talked about today, but it is a very important one, and that is the fear of the Lord. Now, I'm going to be reading from some notes that I wrote down, and also one, I'm going to be reading a short passage of uh, scripture with you all. So let's get started. Something vitally important is lacking in the lives of many believers in Christ today, and that is the fear of the Lord. The Bible states several times that the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Let's look at some scriptures which encourage us to fear the Lord. I'm going to read Psalm 34 verses 7 through 15. The angel of the Lord encamps around all those who fear him and delivers them. Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man who trusts in him. O oh, fear the Lord, you his saints. There is no want to those who fear him. The young lions lack and suffer hunger. But those who seek the Lord shall not lack any good thing. Come, you children, listen to me. I will teach you the fear of the Lord. Who is the man who desires life and loves many days that he may see good? Keep your tongue from evil and your lips from speaking deceit. Depart from evil and do good. Seek peace and pursue it. The eyes of the Lord are on the righteous. His ears are open to their cry. What a powerful psalm here. And... Uh, not only encourages us to fear the Lord, but it shows that there are rewards to fearing the Lord as well. Now, by fearing the Lord, we can step away from self-centeredness into God-centeredness. God is loving and forgiving, but he is also holy, just, and righteous. His justice and holiness cause him to judge sin. Fearing the Lord means to be in awe of His holiness and to reverence Him with honor. It does not represent fright or anxiety, but rather a serious reverence and vigorous pursuit of His purposes through obedience to His Word. Philippians 2.12 says that we are to work out our salvation with fear and trembling. We must understand that God is angry about sin, and he has the power to punish all those who do not follow him. And this includes believers in Christ. In fact, that's who Paul was writing to. Jesus said to fear God, who is able to destroy both soul and body in hell. That's in Matthew 10:28. Hebrews 10.31 says it is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living God. The Lord sees everything that we do, both good and bad, and we will be accountable for our actions and our words. If we truly fear the Lord, then we will obey His commands and live according to His word. Solomon taught that by the fear of the Lord, men depart from evil. The fear of the Lord is sanctifying and compels us to hate sin and evil. And this doesn't mean we're going to live in a sinless perfection, but we are not to practice any willful sin. That's, that's what it's talking about here. And also we must yield ourselves to the Holy Spirit, for He is the sanctifier. The Lord rewards those who fear Him with protection, provision, long life, confidence, comfort, and encouragement through the Holy Spirit. It gives us a deep sense of security and empowerment through the Holy Spirit. All shall be well with those who fear the Lord, regardless of what happens in the world. For the world is 
waxing worse day by day as we are in the birth pangs leading up to the seven-year tribulation period. So in the natural things will continue to get worse, but it doesn't have to be that way with our souls. All can be well with our souls for all who are in Christ Jesus. The end reward is eternal salvation, a free gift to all who trust, obey, and fear the Lord. So let us fear the Lord, reverence his name, reverence his holiness, and do our best to live a righteous and holy life. For the Lord is his hand of protection and provision again and blessing is on those who fear him. And again, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. If you if you want wisdom, then fear the Lord. Then ask him for wisdom, and he shall give it to you. So God bless you all. Hope uh, you've enjoyed this teaching today. And until next time, keep looking up.